Hey there, this video is going to show you how to use roll up and count fields in Airtable. Uh, when I look around, sometimes I'll see this is a common question where people don't exactly know how to do it. So I thought I would make a video showing you uh, using a, a budget base um, that I think will make a lot of sense to people. So if we're looking at this base and uh, you can, I have a link to it below so you can copy it and try it for yourself. I have three tables here. One is transactions and we'll see that there's a linked field here to categories and that's going to be important later on. Then I have categories here. So these are um, budget categories. So we'll see things like amusement falls under the entertainment budget, as does apps, as does books and audiobooks, and then things like auto insurance and auto payment fall under the auto and vehicles budget, which is the third tab that we have here. And so we can see that these are all linked back to the categories. Again, this is going to be uh, very important as we uh, build out those fields. So um, I already have one roll-up field in place, and then I'll, I'll show you how to create it once we get to the budget. But if I open this and edit this field, we'll see that um, I'm looking at the linked table of transactions. And from that uh, table, I'm looking at the amount field. So when we come here, we'll see that every transaction that I add will have an amount, and that will roll up to this specific category. So I'm just going to, uh, I have uh, some transactions here that I'm just going to paste in. Okay, so we'll see I have some some fuel here. Of course, you have to have some Taco Bell in there, uh, Target, a whole bunch of them, and we'll see that uh, we have the different categories for that. So now when we come to our categories table, we'll see that um, things like our fast food under the food and dining budget came to 39.20. So if we would go back and add up all of those Taco Bells and of course your Arby's uh, for Seinfeld fans, um, you're going to get $39.20. So now what I want to do is see how this rolls up to the larger budget table. So right now I, I have budget amounts set for these different budgets. But now I want to create um, a, a roll-up table. So I'm going to come down here, and it takes me a second to find it. Uh, there we are. So roll-up, so I'm going to select, I want to get the values from categories. And from that field, I'm actually going to grab the amount field, because that's the, the total of what I want to roll up. And if I wanted to, I could um, create a logic to do this. In fact, when I when I do this for my own personal budget base, I actually have a field that's called um, like not budgetable, so things that I don't want to include in the budget. Um, so you can do that too. I'm not going to do that here. Uh, and then here, you can put in different formulas. I think the one that we're all want to do is just the sum of the values. So we just want to add up all of those different values and see what the total is. So with that, I'm just going to do create field. And now we'll see that uh, food and dining is now 396.61, and that's because in addition to fast food, there's also some uh, groceries in here. Um, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong tab. Uh, we can see that there's also some groceries in here. So now we can see that of all these transactions with different categories rolled up into these categories, which now rolled up into this budget. And we can use things like this if we wanted to. Um, I'm just going to create a field here. And this is just going to be a formula field if I wanted to see um, amount roll up divided by budget. And I didn't, uh, need to choose the correct formatting. So I need to do a percent. So now I can see you know, how, how far to budget I am with these. But the other thing that I want to show you was how to use account. So let's say that, um, and th for this one, I'll come back to our categories tab. Let's say I wanted to see um, how many transactions I've had for each category that I can do. Um, I can click count. And again, I'm just going to grab the information from the transaction table. And again, if I wanted to, I could have certain conditions be met. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do create. And now I can see that uh, there's been three streaming media transactions. 
uh, for gas and fuel transactions and so forth. So I hope this was useful to you. This is a really great field to use. I think um, there's a lot of different cases, but definitely for things like budget. So hope it was useful.